Hey, welcome back to SQL Talk. Today we're going to talk about a user comment. I had created a video that showed you how to synchronize your on-premises data using a data gateway with Power BI. And Leonardo asked if we could talk about how you would do this uh, with an Excel file uh, when it was on SharePoint. How do you set up a gateway to do an auto refresh on that? So let's do that. Let's switch over to Power BI Desktop. This is the new file. Have not done anything yet. Let's get data. This is going to be a real simple report. We're going to pull in data from an Excel spreadsheet, car inventory 2. Now pay attention to the path right here because this will uh, come into play later when we set up a data source under the data gateway. So car inventory 2, we're just going to display some cars that are uh, on our inventory list. So there's a worksheet within the workbook called inventory list. We can get a preview of the data before loading it. We could edit it, make it changes, but for the purposes of this video, we're going to quickly load it. So this pulls the data into the Power BI desktop file. That extension is .pbix. So here's our table that we just pulled an in, inventory list. Now let's grab some fields. We're going to do car make, car model, private party price, and then purchase price. So we made a simple grid here. Let's add one more visual. Uh, we're going to pick the exact same fields, but this time we're going to put them in a line and stacked column chart. So it just makes the report look a little more interesting. Of course, kind of works as expected. Now let's go ahead and publish it. That's it. We've pulled in the data. We're ready to publish this out to the Power BI service in a secure manner. It's encrypted. It's protected with uh, Azure Active Directory. So we're going to save uh, the, the file here, SharePoint demo. And then we're going to be prompted um, to put it in a particular workspace. So I'm going to put it in just my workspace. That's the default. That's just a uh, workspaces are just a way to organize your reports, your data sets and reports. So we'll allow Power BI Desktop to push the data out there. It's all ready to go. We can click on that link, uh, but I already have Power BI open right here. So let's go look at that data set. We'll click our data sets uh, link here, and we're going to scroll down here. And find that data set. You'll notice new data sets have a yellow asterisk next to them. So SharePoint demo right here. Let's click the ellipsis here, which brings us to options and settings. We're going to go look at our gateway. If we click gateway connection, it says you don't have any gateway installed, or, or, or at least you don't have a data source configured. So let's say, let's go look how we can configure uh, a data source for this gateway. So we already have a gateway installed. So click your gear icon in the top right. Go to Manage Gateways. Now, here's the gateway we installed. But a gateway by itself really isn't much more than just the software on that server. You need to associate data sources, paths, to all your different data sources like SQL Server, Oracle, a flat file, uh, Excel. So let's do that right now. Click your gateway here. Click the ellipsis and say Add a Data Source. So we can call this anything. Let's just call it SharePoint Demo. And then the type, this is important here. We're gonna go after a file. And remember that path that I talked about? I'll just paste that in there. And the name of the uh, spreadsheet was car inventory 2xlsx And I'll pause the video while I enter my credentials. Okay, now I've clicked apply and I get a, a, a green check mark here and it says connection successful. So what I've done, here's my gateway. I now have a data source. And you can have many, many different data sources underneath this. In fact, for any kind of on-premises report uh, pointing to any uh, kind of uh, data on-premises, you need a data source defined. So we're done adding the data source. Let's go back over to the data set and scroll down to our SharePoint demo. Now when we click the ellipsis and say settings uh, and go to gateway connection, it is all set. Uh, no, I'm sorry. It's uh, we're going to pick this gateway, and uh, if you do get this error here, this is kind of instructional. If you get this, then you can simply just click Edit Credentials, um, and then uh, make a change because you might have fat fingered your your password. Okay, so uh, your screen should look something like this. I took care of my credentials. You now have a data gateway associated with this report. So everything is so far has been uh, very uh, similar to the other video, but now the SharePoint portion, if we go out to the report that we created, 
It's a very simple last step here. We go down to our SharePoint report, uh, demo report. Here it is, SharePoint demo. Open up that report. And then if you want to associate this, if you want this to be displayed in a SharePoint uh, site, then you click File and say Embed in SharePoint Online. And this gives you a link so that you can put this in SharePoint. So this is the easy part. What we did before that, setting up the data source with, with the uh, gateway and uh, setting up the refresh. Oh, in fact, I forgot to show you the, how to set up the refresh schedule. Let's go back and, and look at that really quickly. Um, we'll go to the data set, go down to SharePoint. We need to set up a schedule. It's all uh, connected, but you'd have to manually refresh that, which of course we don't want to do. So go to settings again. Um, gateway connections good. Let's go to schedule refresh. Keep it up to date. You can say daily, and then you can add you know certain times if you want it to refresh at eight o'clock in the morning, um, and then you can add another time, and you can keep going here. You can um, with the regular version, you can uh, refresh this up to eight times per day. Or if you have premium, you can refresh up to 48 times a day. So this is how you set up an Excel spreadsheet as a data source, have it connected with the data gateway so it gets refreshed, and then publish it out to SharePoint. Then uh, Power BI takes care of the refreshing. Thanks for watching.